van a tener Lloyd. Yeah. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Multiverse of Geekdom, which will be connected on another level. Gaming in the multiverse. In the multiverse. Looking at the games that made us. We went underground. I found a need for speed and then I wasn't found. Hold on, hold on. Take me off the screen all of a sudden. We got the pedal wrong with the Jedi. Look at us coming back together. Coming to bring you songs and all the stormy weather. Talking about all the games that built us up. I mean, I had to put my cars out on the deck. Like, my name was Yugi. Oh, <laughs> what? All right, guys. <laughs> That is our man, the Midnight Cinema, coming at you with the hot bars to bring us in. It's we not love my best work. Let's go. Guys. We're just going from scratch, but later on, later on. Oh, yeah, gentlemen. no. I'm going to have you guys oh. with some fire. Absolutely. Off the dome, but it was still fire. He, he He's being modest, guys. We all know. Fire bars. Guys, what is up? We are here for another episode of Gaming in the Multiverse. We are doing the games that made us. I have a fan. These are there. all the games. You have fans? I have, I have a fan, fan too. Yeah, you said, you said what's up? I said a fan. I got a fan. Uh, I see. I see what you got. Got understood. You got to raise the roof. With, oh, we're already starting with this shit with these guys. It up. But like I was saying, we are here to talk about the games that made us. So, guys, Don, Josh, how are we feeling tonight? Feeling great. Feeling great. Feeling wonderful. Feel like feeding the ducks. Uh, well, feeding the great. ducks, man. Always got to feed them ducks. I'm telling you, man. Look, look, if you don't feed them, they're going to come quacking after you. And they're going to make you quack. And you don't want that. Ducks coming quacking and make you whack. I mean, that's a problem. Because they will no longer have your back. So many acts in this. Gaflack. <laughs> Gaflack. <laughs> Don, how are we doing, man? I'm doing great, man. I don't know what's happening up there, but I'm doing great. I'm I mean, we're out. having a great time. You know it. <laughs> Guys, ask Don about Qui-Gon Cheekbuster. Uh, <laughs> he's, 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 he's a great person. Should meet Make him. sure you guys ask him about Qui-Gon Cheekbusters in mm-hmm. the comments. Mm-hmm. Um, but guys, we are here, like I said, to talk about the games that made us. So when I say this, I mean games yeah. that really stick out to you. Um, <laughs> I can't take these guys anywhere. <laughs> what is going on right now? I am so sorry for everyone who is watching. <laughs> This is this is great. I'm about to die this over here. That's just too funny. <laughs> please, please change that while I like, finish explaining to the great people that come to watch our channel what we're doing here tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that was funny. Hi, everybody. Yes, it was. I'll be here all week. <laughs> So when I say the games that made us, I mean (laughs) games that truly stuck out to you from growing up, whether it be nostalgia purposes. Miss (laughs) Pac-Man. She consumed all the pellets. (laughs) She was just going. God damn it, guys. We must stay on track. We must. But then I realized what the ghosts now are an allegory for. Explain. Soul yeah. snatching. Huh? Uh-huh. Soul snatching. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Stop it. We are not equating Pac-Man to snatching these motherfuckers' souls. I, I think it makes sense. It works, and then you have the occasional, you know, physical food in there, you know, like a right, a strawberry or Little a cherry, pellets. you know, pellets. a cherry, all the cherries, yeah, yeah. yeah. the five G's, <laughs> cherries. Are five. All right, hold on, you may be onto something. I'm telling you, 
Maraschano cherries. Now if, only if, now, if only if it was a peach instead of a strawberry, then you'd really be on, mm. really be on the nose. Wait, wasn't there? There was a peach in there at one point, wasn't it? Maybe Miss Pac Man. I don't know. There, there had to be a peach Possibly in there. I think so. Yeah, okay. Miss Pac Man going after the peach? Mm. Who knows? Mm. Who knows? Heard it here first, folks. She was catching a princess. Yes, she was. Oh, God. All right, guys. Back to what we were talking about. What we are here for tonight. What we're saying, guys, is. <laughs> yes, what we're saying is they keep distracting the shit out of me. <laughs> I'm not looking. There is a private chat going on, and I will not look at it right now. Um, I don't know. We're talking about. about the games that made us, and this is just, like I said, games that stuck out to us, really made us who we are as gamers, or <laughs> changed us as. Uh, a person, even. Uh, God damn it, guys. Can you just stop? Fucking <laughs> <laughs> <Like, you know? laughs> Oh, oh, God. It's not my no. fault. <laughs> I'm done. The done game is the beatus. The game is the beatus. So, guys, I will go with my first one or not my first one one of the games that made me and this is probably um more of a game that i have i played hours and hours as a child um on nintendo 64 um i think it was probably my one of my most played games ever because i was i only had it for a very not for (laughs) not for a short period of time but i i that was the only console i had for a very long time but it was uh super mario uh Super Mario World and uh, uh, sixty four, right? I think that was it. Yes, yeah, oh, sixty four. Yeah, that it's one where one. you were jumping through the portals uh, and going through the levels, and I mean, that game. I think I've replayed every one of those missions a thousand times. Um, oh, I'm sure. Yeah. I freaking broke. Uh, um, I broke like one of the cartridges, and like I threw a fit, like the child that I was, <laughs> and need to make sure we got another one because. Definitely wasn't making it through the weekend without having that game. Mm. Right. Um, but yeah, like I said, that, that game was just freaking absolutely amazing. Um, and I think it really, the grind is what I think that instilled in me in that game. Cause it was, you wanted to make sure you got all the stars. You wanted to make sure you got every single thing that you could get out of that Island, find every single little that treasure. Game was so hard. That game was so- oh God. Yes. Getting all the stars was insane. It was. Mm-hmm. Really but I think that was one of the first games I ever, like, 100. Mm, okay. You know, I have never completed that game. Oh, funny story about Yeah, I don't know if I've ever 100 it, no. Never did. Because, like, we had it at my um, my elementary school. We had a couple of, like, different systems. We had the Sega Genesis and the uh, Nintendo 64. And the Nintendo 64 games we had were the – it was cruising in the USA, Super Mario 64, and NFL quarterback 96. No, 98. It was 98 because I think Brett Favre was on the uh, cover of that one. Yeah, it was 98. And, um, you know, like, people would play. We would, we would play Super Mario a lot, but to see if we – I don't know anybody that defeated it because it would be – we would play all the way. We would play through different levels. If you died, it was somebody else's turn, or handed over like Calvary mm-hmm. did, or if somebody did a full chapter and then handed the mm-hmm. song to somebody else. Um, so I would switch back and forth between playing that, actually between all three games. You know, on the sake of Genesis, we had um, I was the only one that was playing Jurassic Park. I didn't care. They had a Jurassic <laughs> Park game, they had a Lion King game. There was uh, the X Men game on that was so much fun. Yes. Oh my goodness, like yeah, Nightcrawler yeah, was like that. Nightcrawler was my dude. I would always have. If someone was playing with me, it would always be I would always get Nightcrawler, and usually I would team up with somebody who had to play Wolverine or Cyclops or whoever the heck else. But I was always playing with Nightcrawler. Like Gambit too. Gambit was nasty. Oh yes, Gambit. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Was Colossus in that game? I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah. I think no. That was definitely. It was like all the. animated characters okay yeah no that was a really fun game oh beast was in it yeah beast, beast was, was another one it. yeah yep. yeah no that, that was, was a great game. game great game i agree but first level was a jungle level i remember that i remember the one in the snow 
Mm-hmm. That was a good. I like that level a lot. Yeah, yeah. Man, look at that throwbacks. Jason, thank you for this opportunity. <laughs> <sir>. <laughs> this yeah, is definitely. what the point was. Like, this is definitely not going to be the first time we do this because I'm like, oh yeah, no, man. I'm there's like, so many others. I'm already yeah. like, I want to change my mm-hmm. second one, and I'm like, ah, I don't know, because I'm like, I'm like, there's literally like five or six games that I can think of yeah. off the top of my head. Oh, for but, sure. Josh, what about you, man? Uh, I'm a, what's I'm, one game that you think really made you who you are? Well, considering the conversation you and I had earlier about music, Need for Speed Underground mm. really shaped my underground music so, look. It's it's my favorite of all. Uh, yeah, I haven't yeah. I haven't played two. I know a lot of people love the second one, yeah. uh, but the good. first one, like it really. It shaped everything. You the whole the soundtrack really did it. Like playing the game was already yeah. fun, but the music in it was just great. You had Story of the Year, Static X, Ti had a song. I think Fifty had a song in there. Yep. No, no, no. Oh, wait, did he have a song in there? I'm pretty no, he did. They but you but it was they never played his lyrics. They only had the instrumental for it. Yes, and, that's right. And um, because... that's why I was always confused. I was like, wait, he was in. And then you had um, Get Low. Little John East Side Boys, they had that in there. Oh, yeah. There was, um, oh, there was so much. There was this other band. I can't remember. I think it was like a Japanese rock band. Man, they were really good. I haven't I played was, that game in so long. Dude, it's so much. <laughs> I like, I game. love the, um, there was this one, it's this one particular race that I always loved. I think it's like when you're, I forget, the, I forget the name of it. I sucked at drifting, though. Drifting was terrible. I, I could, oh, I, I, I yeah. It. I love it. I hated yeah, drifting. I, I love drifting. drifting. Yeah, it was nasty. At drifting. I could I could do the drag and regular race, but like the drag. I had a G, I had a GTR that I could fucking sling down like through the uh, the, um, uh, the the cliffs, the mountain <coughs> when you go down at the end, the mountain at the hill, like the hills area kind. Yeah, of? where you have to drift down the whole thing, dude. I had a GTR that could destroy that track. Dude. Just destroy it. Listen, I'd just be in that thing like See, I had I would always either use the Toyota Celica, the Mazda Miata, mm. or the um the Miata was nice. Yeah. yeah. Or the Dodge Neon. The Neon was my old, my starter car, man. Yeah, but that Celica, Celica was my favorite. Celica was nice. then I like, but but when you get the the, uh, the Mitsubishi, the, the Lancer, is Lancer, nasty, yeah, nasty dude. The Lancer yeah. is nasty. Yeah, you know what though was crazy, because even in um, I noticed this, and I think I I, I haven't really seen this to be to translate in real life, but I think it's because of the types of Subarus that people drive. But it seen in the games. Those Subarus are not to be played with. Oh yeah, no, no, no. especially in like, real life. No, no, Subies in real life are nothing to be played with. Uh, see, I haven't like seen. Oh, watch like uh, my dirt. friend. Yeah, my friend up in Vegas. She has a, a nice. Uh, God, I, she's gonna kill me when I tell her I mentioned this, and I don't even know exactly what Subi she has, but it's a really fucking nice one, and I know she's gonna pick up it. That might be it. Yeah, that's like Maybe. the that's like they're like the hatchback? racing. That's like they're racing one. And she can really pick up and go. And she's like, and I don't even have anything on it. Like people buy her in mm-hmm. Vegas. It's I think Vegas, LA, they have like places that have like people that have really souped up Subarus. Like mm-hmm. those WRXs, those are nothing to be fucked with. Mm-hmm. So Dominic Toretto somewhere out there. Dom would Dominic Toretto would never be in one. No, not in a real, not in real racing. Hell no. Nah, Those that would be more of nasty. a. That would be a um, Han car. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. That would definitely be a Han car. Yeah, Han can drive. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, no, they those Subies they were. Because even in Hot Pursuit, like there's one race where you're doing it's a you versus. I think an Impreza. Then you're going against a Subaru Impreza, and you, you're just neck and neck with you the whole time. Um, yeah, the Subaru's there. Yeah, they're, they're not. I do love Subaru. 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 All right, Don. How about yourself, my man? Yeah, this is a tough one. I, I know there's three of them. 
I don't. I just don't know which I mean, one I want to go we with first. Do more. We will. Yeah. Do no, more. I know. Um, I gotta be honest. I think the one I want to start with is is Madden, and I'll tell you why. Madden was the first game you could play online with people. Like you could have like two people play a game against each other. Well, I guess that's not really the first one, but online it was the first one that I remember that you could play online against people. What like year? You weren't sitting in the same room. Yeah, like like actually online, like dial up. Like it was a uh, PS2. I don't remember. What you know, I could never. I never maybe played alone on the two or five something like okay. that. Okay, but yeah. yeah, just just the online experience of playing a game like that. And again, I know like Call of Duty and shooters and stuff like that is is you know now what like everybody plays. But being able to play a sports game like Madden at that time on online was just insane so i'm yeah i'm sure it was like absolutely like mind-blowing at the time yeah what's, what's your favorite madden year because mm. i could tell you about it right now and i'm staring right at it it would be hard for me but i would have to go with uh probably the year we, we won the super bowl which was oh two so oh three okay the bucks won the super bowl in oh two let me see. I can't see it. Oh, oh, Madden Ten. 10. That's a good one. That was a good one. It's my favorite one. That's a good one. one. Now, for sure, it's a good Between one. Between this one and 2008. You guys might be angry with me, but I, don't want to I prefer it. NCAA games. Oh, I like those. Madden. Games. I like those too. Especially because you, you could import your player into Madden mm-hmm. and then you could just start the whole career. Yep. From like, yeah, I miss the NCAA games. They're coming so back. Much. Are they? Yeah. Apparently mm-hmm. Are they going to be paying? Again. Are they going to be paying people for their? Probably. This time around? I don't know. I, I wouldn't know. surprise me if they do. I mean, they have those NIL contracts now. Uh, so maybe. Because. <laughs> Gas, because ah. <laughs> yeah, that's that was the biggest thing that stopped the NCAA games in the past was the the fact that they weren't paying people for the you know for their likeness and all of that extra shit. But I love the mascot mode in that fucking game. Dude, that a lot was of cool so much fun. Used to do. Yeah, yeah, d- dude. Do you not remember the mascot mode in the NCAA yeah. games? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you remember the basketball one? Dude, John. Oh, dude. I feel like I did. Because wasn't it like a dance off or something? Like, no, like, no, no, no. It wasn't a dance off. It was just literally you went. All the teams were just their mascots. So, like, every single yeah. player on the field was like Boise State Bucks. Every yeah. single play, like, was was that play, team's mascot. Every single team. It was crazy, dude. Team. It was. There were some mods in that game. Basically, they were like early mods. Yeah. Mm. Would you say that? Yeah, I yeah, I would say. I mean, I'm sure there were mods before that though, so probably not. Oh yeah, no, there was there were mods like RuneScape had mods. Yeah, okay. RuneScape would that's a oh my god, don't get me started. Yeah. Man, what he's <laughs> unlocking the cerebral <laughs> dude. There's been so many great games, man. There's been so many great so games that many. have come out, man. So many. So I love the RuneScape. That was like pre Minecraft and Skyrim. Like mm-hmm. RuneScape was dope. Yeah, man. RuneScape was like what I would play. Parents weren't home yet. No one was mm-hmm. home. I could use the computer and I'd be just there mm-hmm. fucking gnoming it up, just yeah. collecting some ore. Trying to get my shit together. Get my great sword. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there's that. There was Club Penguin. I don't know if you guys played Club Dude, Penguin. Dude, Club Penguin was. No. I, it wasn't. I don't even know. if Was it really a game? You know what? I'll do more better. of like a. That was like. I feel like that. Oh, was is that like the one where you just hit the like penguin? You just hit the, the fish? Yes. It was literally like. I think it was like another chat hub, really. Just like penguins. Co- yeah, correct. Like that shit used to be just like the basically like, oh, let's get on Club Penguin and hang out and just like mm-hmm. it was yeah. like the VR rooms without the VR rooms that are today. It was like uh like I am V Oh, so it was like Yahoo Games there. back in the day. Remember what did Yahoo you say Games? You cut out? Yeah, I couldn't hear what you said. 
I cut out. Oh, um, yeah. remember IMVU? No. You remember IMV? Yeah. Hold on, hold on. It was like, it was just you were doing the same thing as Club Penguin, but you're using humans instead. It's kind of like it's. It was like Sims, but okay. Extreme. It, yeah, it, it was different, but it was kind of like Sims in a way. Yeah, that's weird. And this Pop Tropica, that was great. I never played that one. Either. Never played Pop Tropica. Okay. No. Yeah. yeah. Pop Tropica. What you got next, Jason? What's your next one? All right. I am changing it from what I originally said. Oh, here we go. Here we go. And it's only because. <laughs> <laughs> nah, go ahead. Go ahead. It's funny. But it's only because. Um. I, this game actually, like, I I spent hours and hours on this game as well. But this game, like, it, it made me want to break games. Like, and not, not in, like, a bad way, but, like, push it to its limits. So Call of Duty zombies, <laughs> like, just the zombies, just the zombies. Because they made it so you had to figure out the Easter eggs yourself. Mm. You know, yes. True. People made um, things, uh, videos to help you eventually, but like still, like the main, the best thing was I remember getting those games and hopping right onto those fucking zombie matches and just either going, trying to see how late we could stay up or how long we could keep a game fucking going. Yeah. Or trying to figure out what glitches we could find to break the game so that we could make sure we stay alive so that, hey, let's hop in the glitch, go to sleep, and we'll come back at this in the morning because we couldn't pause it at the time. Or <coughs> just trying to find the hidden Easter eggs that the fucking game developers made. Like, Kino was one of my favorite matches, maps of all time. Mo um, Ascension, getting that lander glitch... Oh my fucking god! It saved me so many hours and so many matches. It was insane. Zombies was definitely fun. Um, a friend of mine, like we we would play it all the time on his PlayStation, and then like you know, zombies just evolved over time, and the weapons and the zombies just got more and more ridiculous. But yeah, no, it it's 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 definitely fun. I love zombies. I think one of my my favorite maps was uh, there's this one where you're it's like a warehouse in the forest. It's probably I think it's one of the more recent ones. Uh, oh. Raven the Redwoods. No, not too. Sure. That might be it. That might be it because it's like no, this big. It's, like this big it. it's a big facility. It's it's not like. The woods. I mean, you can still see like there's a forest around it, but you're only you can only go but so far. Obviously, Is there like a swamp in the middle of it. Not a swamp. Oh, no, yeah. just. I, I think I know what he's talking about. You keep talking. Yeah, I can't. I can't exactly remember. Anyway, um, there's like a tunnel too. There's like a cave. No, not that one. No, 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 no. There is underground bunker. I okay. I do like that one. I, I did like that one. Is it in that same game, or is it in another game? I don't remember what's called. I Duty think I know which one you're talking about. I, yeah. Well, I think I, I used as bait, and I hated that goddamn map. I would just run around the map and get them all together, and then they would shoot them all. It might have been in Black Ops Four. Then I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Uh, hold on, I'll, I'll, I hated I'll show that, I hate that map. I hated Black Ops Four zombies, but. Black Ops 3 Zombies, when they came out with um, Zombies Chronicles, I loved it. I, like, absolutely loved it. They just gave you every singles map in, like, chronological order, and, like, it was so awesome. I, did, I just never played Zombies. I don't know. I never got into it. Never got into Zombies? No. And I just played multiplayer. I played hardcore, man. I played hardcore multiplayer. I love until, hardcore multiplayer. Until you were the last of us, huh? Free for all on cargo all day long. I will destroy people. Give me capture the flag. It's over. Free for all, cargo, or um, uh, why can't I say the name of it? 
Man, y'all gonna have me mess around. The most famous map in Call of Duty games. ever. Please, somebody help me. Nuketown. Nuketown. Yes, thank you. Oh, Nuketown on hardcore. I will destroy. I don't know if I can justifiably say that Nuketown's the best map ever. I think no, it's I said the, it's the most known map ever. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I was gonna say I definitely, I definitely can't say that because I got bored. The amount of time. I think either it's either Nuketown or Cargo. No, I would debate that. Those can be some Nuketown is better, but Cargo is probably one of the worst maps ever. I love Cargo. The the fact that you can get spawn camp without any hesitation is not cool. Dude, you can get spawn camp anywhere on that map. Like that's what I'm saying. Like yeah. that's it. There's no like that's that, that that to me that is not a fun map because it's like if you I just like it on free for all because you just throw grenades and just shoot. <laughs> That's all you gotta do. Throw he just shoot. wants violence. As soon as you spawn, throw a grenade. Shoot. He just wakes up and chooses violence, like NBA young boy. Wow. That's all you gotta do. As soon as you spawn, throw a grenade. Shoot till you die. I want to say that you're talking about the Dead of Night game. That's all you gotta do. I am not sure. Listen, here's the thing. Wow. I, I've only I I wasn't like a heavy Call of Duty player, but if I was at somebody else's house or just I know it's a friend, then yeah, I, I'd be down to play it. Call of Duty. That, not that one. No? Oh. Wait, is that the one where it's like, I think I know. Pull it back up. Call for Duty. I feel like I'm remembering that one. Call it's a bunch of fires Duty. around you. Yep. Okay, yeah, I like that one. I do like that. That's not the one I was talking about, but I do like that one a lot, though. But they, yeah, like, I, I will say this one wasn't my most favorite one. I like Blood of the Dead. Tag was a cool one, but Blood of the Dead obviously was great because it was, I'm pretty sure, that was the um, remake to... Uh, the one where they went to Alcatraz. Uh-huh. Uh, so that was a really cool one. I was just I very confused by what Don was doing. It looked like he was snorting something. I wasn't sure. <laughs> just speak Josh, out. what about you, my good friend? <laughs> I was another one. I hate him so much. Another yeah. one. Y'all are really about to make me pull my entire PS2 library out. It's ridiculous. Do um, it. Just do it. Yeah. I'll bring on a couple. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll bring on a couple. Let me see. Are you right, well, doing that, Don? You, you take it. Yes. All right. I'm gonna go with a. I'm gonna go with a great game. It's it's, it's the maybe the greatest game of all time. I'm gonna pull it out. It is called Gears of War. <laughs> it's the most amazing game ever. <laughs> it is what got me into basically playing online with other people and shooters and stuff because before that I just played I didn't care I just didn't care yeah I pulled it out we're gonna talk about it together because it's it's the greatest game ever yes this fucked hard told me Go ahead. That, tell, hey, us, tell us why it's the greatest game ever tell us why no, no, no. I'll tell you why it's the greatest game of all time of all time but first I'm going to tell you that this asshole said that he was gonna let me have this one he was going to <laughs> oh, I, did. That's one. I completely forgot about but it. it's okay right, he's gonna so, pull the bamboozle over me I know I actually forgot about that that's my fault sorry sorry <laughs> quick little quick little history but I did say that you are correct my, <laughs> My first shooter, my first war game was actually this one. Hold on, we're talking about call, uh, Gears of War first. No, 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 it's you okay. It's okay. Let him go. Oh, go ahead. Go. Oh, no, 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 go ahead. I didn't mean Medal to of Honor. No, no. I want to see Medal no. of Honor. Is that the parachuting one? Oh, no. No, I do have that, followed up by Vanguard. Mm. Yeah. European Assault is my favorite one, though. Medal of Honor was great. That was yeah. a great series. Um, then I have... X Men Legends Rise of Apocalypse. Mm, that's nice. And then there's uh oh this is this one right here. Mm -hmm. If if you have not played this, it's just too much fun. What is it? Over the hedge of the video. Oh game. wow. 
This is one of the I most fun. That one. It's so much I fun. I played it. I could play it right now as we're doing the show. I swear to goodness. <laughs> Don't it's, do that. It's so much fun. Then I got this here. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, hell yeah. yeah. And NBA Street or NFL Street. I mean, absolutely. NFL Street was the shit. And one of my crown jewels, truly, truly, mm-hmm. might catch you off guard. What is that? King Kong. King Kong video game. Official okay. game of the movie. Yeah. Fun is I don't know what. Fighting all these different creatures. You get to play as Jack and Kong. Mm-hmm. You get to fight the V Rexes. There's like there's a fight whether you get I think I do remember that game actually. Oh, it's so much fun. Oh, you you, you mm-hmm. fight any and everything. There's these the giant bats that you go against. Jack Black is actually voicing his character in it, so you get to hear him say all kinds of like the cast is actually <laughs> characters. So you can hear them say all wow. types of different Very things loud. in the Oh, yes, yeah, it's, it's so much fun. I've let Jack Black get attacked so many times. It's actually quite funny. His, like, attack lines. It's like, ah! It's, just, it's, it's funny. It's, just, it's so funny. It's like, Jack, help me! It's so crazy. But, like, everyone has their own things. And, um, did, like, I, there's so many levels and chapters on it. Then when you, you can play it back, like, once you complete the game, you can... Gosh. <laughs> you can run it back <laughs> and play for points. <laughs> oh my God. I'm getting away. Go back to Gears of War. Not doing it. Not doing it. <laughs> Sit down, time, come on. Oh. Talk about your first experience with Gears and then I'll get into it. Oh, no. Did oh, my I- God. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, so yeah, so I had a PS2, and uh, I worked at Dave and Buster's at the time, and these these uh, guys I worked with were like, uh, "Do you play video games?" And I was like, "Yeah." They're like, "Do you play shooters?" And I was like, "Yeah." They're like, "What do you?" And I was like, "I'm I have a PS2," and they were like, "Well, do you have an Xbox 360?" And I was like, "No." So I went and bought an Xbox 360 and Gears of War because they told me to. Yeah, see, that's not fair because that's one of the best games ever. Yep. It's one of the best games ever. Um, and we started playing Gears of War, the first Gears of War online together, us four. And we would just play till like 10, 11 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> After yeah. we got off at like 2 or 3 in the morning. And I would play that game every night, like literally every night we played every night. So that was how I got introduced to Gears of War. I'm not playing with it. What is he doing over there? <laughs> I don't know. Sir, even the even the guy up in, in your background is like, what the f- <laughs> <laughs> like, what, are you doing? what are you doing? Like, what the hell are you doing over there? <coughs> um, you get another chair. I mean, Gears of War, it should have been Microsoft's staple for their entire <laughs> system instead Coward. of Halo. Coward. Coward. In in my opinion. So why was it not? Because they're cowards. Yeah, because I feel like they didn't take a chance on another. Because, no. You hear that, Bill Gates? You're a coward. You're a fraud. I I don't know what the deal is. not quite that exact, but it's basically they had a choice and they made a choice. Yeah, it was it was literally just one or the other. Yeah. Uh, I think I think what it was is also Gears was going to come out a little later. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I don't think they wanted to wait. Um, so it was just an easier option for Halo was a done was already a finished product and they were ready to go with it just about for for when the console was going to drop. Mm-hmm. Whereas Gears, I think, still needed a, a bit more time. Um, yeah, I think but, actually I think it was like eight months. Between yeah. when Halo came like out I, I, and years, yeah, it was a while. Yeah, I literally think it was just a, a, a time and a development thing. And you want to know what I, I commend Coalition for actually doing it and actually doing it right because the finished product was amazing. I mean, the one story the the ever made. It, it, it created one of the best storylines ever, some of the best characters ever, 
Marcus Phoenix, Dom, uh, Dominic Santiago, um, Baird, um, Baird. What was Baird's name? Um, Bed Car- Carmine. No, 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 Stop. no. Sorry, Stop. I'm sorry. God forbid, Anthony. All yeah, the no. Car- Listen, yeah, Carmine, no. the name Carmine was a curse <laughs> yeah. in that game. The yes, only Carmine that ever survived was Clayton. Clayton Carmine was the only Carmine that had actually ever lived. Yeah, Every right. single Carmine that had ever been on screen ever uh, ever since. Anthony, Benjamin, Gary, um, and there was one more. Wow. What do you mean? Nothing. Oh. No, you're good. Okay, I was like, I thought you were telling me no, and I was like, the fuck you mean, bro? He was talking about Carmine. Bro. Oh, my God. No, it is not, not Carmine Falcone. Uh, and it's not the Carmine from uh, All Dogs Go to Heaven. It's not. No, definitely it's not. not. He would be a boss. In years and then more. I think... <laughs> and then I think... Um, one of my favorite parts, and also is the fact that it was Cole, so. Didn't mention Cole. Cole trained. Oh, you he's mentioned best, it. That's why he's I the didn't best character it. in the game. You Period. mentioned it. That's why. Why am I going to mention it twice? Period. No. Yes, Cole Train, who runs on whole green. But also, <laughs> hold on. Dizzy, Dizzy comes around in the second one, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Dizzy's great. Okay. How many gears? Because I think uh, there's like five or no, technically uh, mm, six now, right? Te- no, yeah, yeah, because there's one, two, three, four, five, and then judgment. Yeah. But then there's also gears tactics, and the, technically the ROM storyline is a separate game. Yeah, general ROM. So, so there's technically like eight games. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, like if you want to count them all, people that have heard that have played it, they say it's like one of the best overalls, like. It's one of the original, like one of the first games to tell a cinematic story. Oh, and without it, it's doubt. insane, dude. That first game is insane, and then two so, came okay. out and Hold was on. just like, uh, we can do better. So, you it see the like, guy holy... who's underneath me, uh, a, a little bit. Oh, yeah, that his name is Ty, Ty. and they set Ty. Ty up in the very first game. He was the most badass motherfucker there Ever. was. Ever. I mean, no one, everyone loved him, but also no one fucked with him. No. Ty was the dude you sent in to fucking kill some grubs. And then Ty goes missing. Mm. Don't know where Ty is for a while. And then you find Ty. And I, Ty was captured. I figured. And he was tortured. And they free him, and the very first thing he does when they put a shotgun in his hand is blow his brains out. Yep. The, it's, this it's, was the toughest character one of the that they ever, man. made. Yeah. And it then they bring him back in judgment. And expensive. they brought him back in judgment, didn't they? Mm-hmm. And I was just like, why would you do that? That's I was tough. so mad at that. Yeah. Because I, I really like Ty. Ty was a great Ty character. Was, Ty was w- a, an amazing character. And, and they just completely like d- disrespected that, him, in my opinion. That death is what made me realize what kind of a game that was. <laughs> like it was a C, like it wasn't just like it, it wasn't just a regular shooter. It was telling you this incredibly deep story yeah. that wasn't like just a war uh, a game that we played that was telling the same stories over and over again almost. But this was a real story that they created the 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 enemies were something we had never seen before the locusts were were yeah. crazy and the chainsaw the shotgun like all oh yes that the whole mechanics do. that they did the whole the, roadie uh, running the freaking swinging grenades and uh, frag tagging and wall jumping and uh wall bouncing and just all the stuff I, that you can do in yeah. that game is insane the level of detail they put in to make it unique but still a a great shooter is 
insane. And you know, you touched upon it, like yes, the chainsaws, but also like the variations of guns, like the the longbow, the torque bow, the hammer burst. Um, torque bow is such a beast. the 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 Nashers, the pit, the Voltok pistols, mm. like even from the very first game, they had a really nice array of weapons that yeah. were like all kind of designed for <laughs> i don't know what he's been doing over there he just, he just disappeared no it's it's my so i gotta get a different chair sometimes it gets a little uncomfortable so i just i'm here on the floor mm, but okay. i can't help it. i feel like i, I feel like a digger so funny. <laughs> so funny. but yeah i mean i can go on and on and one oh, i can go games, yeah just one of these games, so actually I really do plan to bring you guys all at home and, you know, all anyone else who wants to sit in, me and my buddy are going to finally eventually sit down. And we both have uh, quite a bit of extensive knowledge on, like, the entire lore of yeah. Gears of War, like the backstory that they really don't give you unless you read the comics. Amen. Um And we really want to break down this entire franchise from start to finish of what they have out as of right now, because the, the story, even the, the story that they don't give you is just as good, if not better than the story that they give you already. Mm-hmm. Cause it just yeah. pieces it all together. They explain a bit on why queen Mira and his father know each other. Um, like they really explain, and especially in the later on episodes or not episodes, I shouldn't say the later on games, why, Mira is connected to Kate and just all that stuff. Okay. 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 So I eventually want to do like a fucking a series on the gaming and the multiverse where we break that down, but in in due time. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there are so many games <laughs> that have truly defined who I am. Yeah, but man. Gears is probably the one that made me a competitive online player. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Gears made me a competitive online player. Yeah, that was the first game. Like I used to play Call of Duty by myself with people online, and you know I'd have fun. But mm-hmm. that was the first time where I was like, no, I want to actually like be good at this game. Like I want to yeah. put the time in to like actually be a contributor on this team because like I was yep. playing with people I knew. So like, we would talk about <laughs> that shit at work. We would talk about that shit at work. We talk about strategy, like you know, on canals. We're gonna go down this way and go. Around it. exactly, now, exactly. Oh like that's yes. the sh- that's the type of shit we would have. And like fuel depot. Okay, so fuel depot. You go around to the left. You go around to the right. I'm gonna go down the middle, and Don just go around the back, try to get behind them and chainsaw people. <laughs> that was that was my job. <laughs> dude, yeah, my dude, job was to run around them. behind everybody and chainsaw the shit out of them. So there was matches where we would just be like, "All right, guys, everyone, just use the chainsaws right away. Just yeah, hold, oh, yeah. hold them out." And dude, we would just call it Chainsaw Charlie. Chainsaw Charlie's up in the building. Yeah. I would just run around with my chainsaw out with the with the uh the lancer. Just run around the chainsaw. The ying, 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 ying. Yeah, the fact that you could actually chainsaw a person Dude, in the half. animations were so nasty. They were so cool. It was so amazing. <laughs> it was so awesome to see just somebody split in half. It's insane. Holy shit, yeah. But uh, Josh, that was one of the most know. amazing experiences of my life. The first time I chainsaw somebody, I was just like, "What the hell just happened?" <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> so I've chains. Uh, um, yeah. <sighs> Another game that really. Yeah, this will be the last one we give out, guys. Because that was my third one that Don jumped you into. It's all good, man. It's all good. It's all good, dude. I think we both wanted to talk about that anyway, so it, I, it, I it love works that out game so yeah. much. I can, like I said, I could talk about Gears of War for forever. Yeah. What you got, Josh? Give us one more, man. That really like got you. My it, this might actually be my favorite game of all time. I mean, it's another game is very very close to it. Now, mention that one next time. But for today, my final. My final summoning, my final draw, my final duel. Red Dead Redemption. Mm. Red Dead Redemption. Now that's a game. That's a game, now, sir. Oh yeah, dude. And I, I've 
Mr. Johnson. I I love westerns, and I didn't play Red Dead until mm. two or two years ago. Wow, two, two years ago, I played the first one. Yeah. And Damn, so that's after the second one came out. After the second one came out, so I haven't yeah. played it, and I can't wait to play that one. But you haven't played yet. I haven't played it yet. I haven't played. I've Dude, played like a little bit, but like let me join I the RP. To... Let me join the RP and let let's bring it in because you said that you have a server for it too. So we. Can I work. don't have a server. I am on an RP. So I am on an RP server. Dude, that be a gunslinger. I am. My name in this RP server is I am a Native American. I am Cherokee. It's a great name. Um, Goga Anoli. It means uh, Summer Badger. It's amazing. Summer Badger. My name is Dusty Chaps. <laughs> I can't say <laughs> him. <laughs> God damn it. Why? <laughs> oh. This man. My goodness. I think I'd be Stormbringer. Flint Johnson. Mm. Mm. Flint Johnson. Yep. Okay. Flint All right. Johnson. It's actually not bad. It's a, it's a pretty good name. Um, yeah, like I I it, Red Dead just it just hit me in places, man. Like the whole story, John Marston's character is great. That ending screwed me up because I was not even the ending. Like the ending before the ending really had me just my jaw dropped, and then I'm wondering why is my controller not working all of a sudden? I can't <laughs> right? do anything. It's like what? Ah, uh, then the, the song. Bury me not. Mm -hmm. I have it on my on my iPhone. Like I, I it's it's you yeah. know you, you see you get yeah. to see all the American West and how they kind of you know fictionalize some things, but you still tell what areas remind you of what places and I need different to towns that you get to see too, and you know the raids in Mexico and uh, the, only, the one thing I hated about it is that you couldn't swim. I thought that was stupid that you that you could yeah, swim. but like, there was ways around the, the first map. There was ways around the first map. Okay. Yeah, because I like whenever you I hit go water. all the way around and you oh, get yeah. around the water. Mm-hmm. Then you um, get behind the map. There's this one. There's this one area I can't remember the exact name of it. I don't think it's too far from Blackwater, but it's up in the mountains when you start to actually get into bear country. And there are so many times where. I would get one. I would, I would I would kill the bear, and then two more would show up, and then a third one appeared. I'm just like, God, like get stop it, yeah, just dude. stop. Like they they it, it just it would not. Listen, setting traps and stuff was so much fun. Yeah, we yeah. would hunt you for that. I would set traps. Insane, like bears are sacred to my tribe. They are. And I respect the bears. I'm gonna be a bear hunter near your tribe. So you yeah. will get got every single time. Very quickly. Every uh, single time. But you know what? They uh, have no of, idea the scouts we have. They have one of the realest quotes in it, though. Well, they had so I'm many. I'm about to have one. everybody in the server on my side. We're in it. Let's do it. Go to war. You ain't having gonna... shit on your side. <laughs> I'm going to go and meet everybody and be like, look, there are these people killing people for killing bears, trying to make money for their family. I cannot believe this. But here, but see, watch this. We and need to form a rebellion and take these people out, I think. <laughs> <laughs> why do we give them anything? <laughs> and this is why you'll never be a part of the server. Because <laughs> you'll try to do that, and then the lawmen will arrest you. And the bears will just eat you and feed on your. Just try to feed my family, man. And you're trying to take away my right to feed my family. 
Take up farming. There are other ways. <laughs> exactly. Take up farming. Hunt deer. Be a cattleman. <laughs> like he'll pay, exactly. he'll pay as much, man. I need to be yes, a big too, bucks. You I want I want mink and I want bear. <laughs> you sick <laughs> bastard. <laughs> <laughs> get some alligator, you fuck. I'll throw a beaver at you. <laughs> hey, hey, Full beaver, just no throw one it. Wants, no don't, one wants those land dinosaurs don't, anyway. Don't don't disrespect the beaver. Did you call them land dinosaurs? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did. God, why? <laughs> but see, watch the, the thing is, I forget the character's name. He says. I think it's the Native American guy that you go with when you're with, uh, when you meet with one of the other FBI agents and mm -hmm. the government agents. And he says to him, you know, yeah, white men came through and they just killed everything. And we believe that we only take what we need because if we take more than what we need, then there will be nothing for the future. Kind of paraphrasing in a way, but mm -hmm. like, no, that's true. And it comes all the way back to right, like right now. I love, I haven't been that far west, but I want to see it. And the fact that there's just so much overdevelopment, it pisses me off. And it's like, guys, just stop. Leave, leave it be. Leave it alone. But it's a great story. It's a great, it's story. A great, it's a great story. And the you got to get to RDR2, man, because RDR2 is. I can't even tell. It's a great isn't, isn't Marston in it too? Uh, well, at the end, kind okay. of. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I gotta play that one. Yeah, he's in. He's in the end. He's in the end. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna play that next. That's been on my radar heavy. And you <laughs> let me know when you do good, sir, and I'll have you on. And we'll do a review. What system do you have, sir? I have the greatest system. Xbox. Okay. Wait, it's where did it on Xbox? Oh, it is on Xbox. It's on Game Pass. Okay. That might be the way to go. And you can get it online for is. free. You can get online for free, though, right? Yes. <laughs> Xbox is always the way to go. I'm RDR2 online for free is the way to go. And I have a shadow horse. You have a shadow horse. It's Shadow Force. I just want to mention Shadow of Rome, which is another PS2 game. It's right? Shadow Force. Well, I, very I wanted an emu, but they didn't have them. Do you know about the Great Emu War? Yes, I do. Yes! In Australia? Yes! Where the general said that if they could uh, make emus uh, like could uh, listen to their commands, they would be the greatest soldiers ever. They would never yeah. lose a war. At all. Yeah. But I would raise you. If a you human could... army with guns lost Two emus. Yes, that's, that's a real story. That actually happened in real life. <laughs> but here's the crazy part: it's the Imagine craziest if, story ever, dude. If they fought against cassowaries, and the gen, the, literally the general for the Australian army said that if he could, if he could train them, he would never lose a war. It's so. That's what, that's what he told him. So much. One <laughs> of the greatest things ever happened in history. It's one of the funniest things. How do you lose in war to a bird? A flight. No, there were thousands of them. There's thousands of them, but they didn't. They didn't. They weren't playing. They were not yeah. playing. Funny man. Not <laughs> playing. No joke, man. They the were, same family I mean, as the ostrich and the cassowary. Like, yeah. They do not play around at all. Cassowary is probably the most dangerous out of all of them, followed by the ostrich. And but it was yeah, not a lot of people know about that thing. That is one of the funniest. Things in history ever. What, a, a movie should be made about the Great Emu. I think it was at one point. Really? I think there was a. I think there was a movie. Yeah. Oh, let's let's go ahead and look this. I want I want um, I want Russell Crowe to play the the, the general. general. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> Who else do you get to play? Who else do you get to play right now? That's exactly who you get. That's exactly who you get. Oh my! Wait. In 1932, the Great Emu War short film. See? And apparently, the Great Emu War movie was supposed to come from John Cleese and Rob Schneider. Mm. Oh, that would have been hilarious. Yep. Yeah. You ever seen The Men That Talk to Goats? No. Oh, the uh, George Clooney movie? 
I've been yeah, wanting to watch It's that. apparently based on a true story, and that's one of the funniest movies I've ever watched in my life. Dude, that movie is hilarious. Holy crap. I gotta check that out. Anyway, we gotta get the hell out of here. We've been going too long just talking about anything. <laughs> yeah, we have. All right, guys. So, it's a new video game for joining, joining us. us. I love video games. Do you love video yeah. games? Thank Tell us you about guys the video games. You for joining us. Guys, let us know down in the comments below what games made you. You know, let us know, and, you know, we will be back next time to let you know some more games that made us. I'll bring some more people on. But also, guys, make sure you like and subscribe. Like, it's not that hard. Just hit that like button. Hit that notification bell. Like, you'll want to be here. We want you to be here. So what are you doing? Please. Denzel loves being here. Denzel is here. Come on, guys. Like, if Denzel can be here, you can be here. I mean, look, guys. There he is. There I mean, he is. and look he's just gentleman. smiling. Oh, look wait. Gentleman. Look at that so, handsome strapping man right there. It is amazing. But, guys, as always, I am joined by my. Oh, what, 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 yep, join our mission to 1,000 subscribers. I wasn't prepared for that one, but here. So sorry. I, I just had to pull it up for us. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. <laughs> Josh, let the people know where they may be able to find you. Just on. You can find me with the Mayans MC, but you can actually find me here uh, on Multiverse of Geekdom, literally anywhere in this galaxy. I'm here. We're slowly getting to Jedi Academy, but I will be there too. Um, you can find me on my YouTube channel, The Midnight Cinema. You can find me on Facebook, Joshua Diggins. Find me on Twitter at The Outlaw Nine. Find me on Instagram, The Midnight Cinema 41. Find me on TikTok, Chef Midnight 483. You can find me in the Sons of Anarchy, man. Mine's at a Facebook group. Find me in the Sons of Anarchy Facebook group and the other Reaper crew Facebook group. So many Sons of Anarchy. Just find me anywhere where the Sons of Anarchy is. I'm there, more than likely. And um, wherever, wherever the Sons are anarchist, the he is there. I am there. If there are mines, I am there. If the grim bastards appear, I am there. I'm also on Asgard from time to time, so find me there, too. There you go. There you go. <laughs> In the name of and Odin's fade, like Jesus Christ. Stop. Don't even oh triggered. triggered. Oh, so bad, so bad. I quit. Oh, I quit. My faithful Jedi Master, my man. Where yeah. can they find you? Find me. Uh, you guys can find me on Twitter at Jedi Master Tuck. You can also find me here on the multiverse of Geekdom. Talking about everything from games to Star Wars to who the hell knows. Playing games on Sunday night with my buddies. Um, right. But also look for us on Titans of the Turf, guys. We got some exciting matches coming up this week for the playoffs. Josh, you're in it. Yes, I am. It is going to be exciting. That guy's going to be there. Qui-Gon Cheekbuster is going to be there. He's going to have some fun. <laughs> Busting some cheeks. You never know what he's going to do. <laughs> <laughs> find me in the Facebook group Benverse, Multiverse of Geekdom find me everywhere guys guys I am your host to this gaming in the multiverse bringing you all the games and everything you need I am Padawan Frito you can find me on Padawan Frito at Twitch, Twitter, Instagram all of those kind of social media groups that's where I'll be and also on the Sunday show the Jedi Academy show and Titans of the Turf announcing with this uh, Padawan Frito Spine Tamer. Interesting. Don, how'd you come up with such a name, sir? I just thought of it. Wow. All right. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> you can find me trying to wrangle in these chuckleheads all the fucking time. <laughs> but, guys, thank you so much for joining us again. It, it's been a pleasure. And, again, May we tra traverse this multiverse together, guys. May the fourth be with you. May the fourth be with you. This is going to be way after the fourth. It's the fourth now. <laughs> way to let them know when we recorded this. The bastard. fourth just happened. <laughs> <laughs>